let's get an idea of what I'm talking about here. So if I go back to the to the balance sheet and let's go ahead and scroll down to where the credit cards are, liabilities. So we've got a MasterCard here. So if I go into the detail of the MasterCard, then we have our normal transactions. So if I make a lot of transactions with a credit card, then you could think of it basically as an expense type of form that in essence we are generating with the credit cards which is similar to a checking account but now we're going to be increasing the liability of the credit card and paying for normal expense type of items and then typically we're going to be paying down the credit card at some point with that amount that we're going to pay out of the checking account that's then going to be paying down the liability so it's going to go from inter uh, transaction from one bank feed or financial institution account to another bank feed or basically financial institution account. Now, if I record that as is natural to do with an expense form out of the checking account, it's going to show up here as an expense form, which can be a little bit confusing because now the expense form is going to be going kind of in the opposite direction uh, than, than the other expenses, right? It's going to be decreasing the the value here whereas these expense forms were increasing it so therefore you might want to use another form in order to make your payments that's kind of the general idea although again i think the expense form isn't too burdensome to do especially if you don't have a lot of transactions on the credit card but if well let's check it out i'll, sh I'll show you the two forms and see what happens so if i go back on over and let's say we're just going to pay off the credit card so the credit card i'm going to say i'm going to pay it i'm going to pay it out of my checking account and I'm just gonna use what would be natural and expense form because I'm paying it out of the checking account. Same expense form is usually what's created when you make a bank feed uh, kind of transaction as well and you record a decrease to the checking account. So I'm gonna hit the plus button. We're just gonna say it's gonna be an expense form and we're gonna say it's gonna be uh, the, the payee. I'll just keep it as, as blank for now. It's gonna be the, the credit card. So I could put the credit card, but I'll keep it there and we'll just say that we're going to be paying out the category of the i think it's mastercard was it mastercard account so there's the credit card account and let's just say 50 dollars. so we're, this is going to decrease because this it's an expense form the checking account and the other side's going to be going to the the uh mastercard that's what would naturally what you would kind of think to do so i would say okay save it and close it and then if I go into my balance sheet and I scroll up and run it and I go into my, my checking account, then we would have just what we would expect an expense type of form. Now the expense form's not going to, to an expense because expense form really just means decrease to the checking account. It's like a check form without the check number and the decrease to the 50. So that makes sense to me. If I wanted to sort this, for example, by decreases to the checking account, I could sort by expense form which makes sense because that's the form typically used to decrease the checking account. If I go back though, and I go into my, my liability account for MasterCard, then there's a little bit of confusion here because now normally I have these expense forms, but then down here I have an expense form that's going the opposite direction because the expense form is designed to go out of the, uh, out of the checking account and, and therefore it's going, and usually it goes to it to something we're purchasing like a fixed asset property planting equipment or typically an expense. So that's where it looks a little bit funny. If I wanted to sort like my credit card transactions for, for things that I purchased, like increases to the credit card, then this would be stuck in there. And if I wanted to search just for my payments, it becomes difficult to do it. If I wanted, if I wanted to go in here to this transaction detail and say, hey, I wanna look for all of my, uh, my payments of the credit card i can't do it because i can't search by transaction type or it's not as easy i can't do it as naturally so i'd like to maybe change this type to something else now the other two options you might use is you could use maybe a transfer form is the other natural thing that would come to mind because although you're not transferring from checking to to checking bank account to bank account you're still going from you're still going from a financial institution account that you can use bank feeds from to another financial institution account. So you could you could use that. You could say, okay, maybe I'm gonna use the good old transfer form here and say it's gonna come from my checking account and it's gonna go into the MasterCard uh, account. And I'll say this is for $75, let's say, just, well, let's say it for $30. I think we're 
running low on a balance over there on the credit card side. So $35. So, so this will do the same thing, same transaction, but now it's going to record it in that detail as a transfer, which could help my sorting. So it's really just a sorting thing. The journal entry will be the same. So let's save and close it. And so now I can, I can say, okay, closing this out. And then I can run my report, go back into my checking account. So now down here, I've got a transfer. So that still kind of makes sense for me, for me in this side of things. So if I was to try to look at, look at all the decreases, then I would have to take into consider the consideration, the transfers, which could be an increase or decrease, whether I'm transferring money in or out of the checking account. And if I go to the other side on this side to the, the MasterCard going into that, now I can see it as a transfer. Now, if I record this as a transfer, then if I'm trying to look at all my payments and I made them all as transfers, I can sort. So what I mean is I can customize this and I can start to say, okay, I want to filter this and I want to look at it by transaction type. And then instead of picking expense, which won't help because everything, because the expenses are going up and down. If I make all my transfers, the payments, then I can run it and I can sort by the transfers. And if I have all of the payments as transfers, it's a way that I can sort it possibly a little bit easier. So the journal entry is the same, either one will work. And then the other option is, is if I hit the drop down and I go down to the pay down credit card. So I go to the pay down credit card. And so now same kind of idea, it's like a transfer, but they give us this other option to sort it. So now this is gonna give us a, a verif another kind of thing that I can sort by. So if I make all of my payments on this pay down, I can say I'm going to pay down the MasterCard. I'm not going to put a pay E. I'm just going to say it's for $10. Let's just say $5 because I'm getting low in a balance on the credit card. And then I'm going to say the other side is the checking account. Same thing, but now it's going to have a different description. Same journal entry, in other words. Transaction is going to be the same. So I'm going to say save it and close it. Let's go to the balance. Let's go to the balance sheet, run it and check it out. If I go to the checking account and scroll down, now I've got the $5, but now it's in there as a credit card payment, which could be good or bad because now I can search all of my data in here. If I make all of my credit card payments as a credit card payment form, then it might be easier for me to search just for my credit card payments. However, if I want to look for all my decreases to the checking account, I've got to remember that now I've got expense forms. I've got check forms. I've got other kinds of check forms. I've got possibly transfer forms, which could go up or down. And I've got the credit card form. So it's kind of a sorting issue that you're dealing with. The transaction is the same. You can use either one. It might not be a big deal to you. The fact that, uh, that you can't sort for the, you know, that you have these different things, but these, this is what you kind of want to think about where the differences are and where that might help you to organize your data. If I